After a month of hurricane season at anchor in southern Grenada's Woburn Bay, we decided to break things up a bit by moving back around to the west coast. There we had booked a slip in St. George's at Port Louis Marina. While we spend the vast majority of our time at anchor or on a mooring ball, this would allow us to more easily get some boat projects done, explore the capital city of St. George's, and take more trips into the interior of the country to see everything that Grenada has to offer. We rounded Point Salines and were excited to see St. George's, where we had quarantined for two weeks, but now would be able to fully explore. Here we are, tied up, Port Louis and St. George's. is gonna be awesome. When you haven't been to a marina in like months, what do you do? Showers! <laughs> All right, today we are going to go explore downtown St. George's, the largest city in Grenada. All right, let's go exploring. So we think we're gonna get on a bus and head over that way to where all those buildings are. We met up with our friends Kevin and Cheryl on Leaf New and headed out for our first experience on a public bus. The buses run into the heart of the city where we would meet more friends, Dave and Michelle, on Half Baked, then walk around to get a feel for the lay of the land. No, no, no. Oh, me here? Yeah. Okay, sorry. You gotta pull it. Okay. Beautiful road. Uh oh. Women be shopping, they've already started. Okay. You drop, you drop one cocoa into your pot with three cups of water. Okay. Allow it to boil five minutes. You strain and add milk and sugar. Okay. okay. So it's really good. Two stick of these. Oh, cinnamon. Uh -huh. okay. Oh, I want. Let it boil for five minutes. Yeah. Then you strain and add milk and sugar. And okay. then it's just like a hot chocolate. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna have cinnamon, nutmeg, and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds great.
come into the cruise ship mall. The cruise ship mall. The cruise ship. And we're here at the cruise ship docks. It's pretty crazy to be here and no cruise ships here. The place is empty. Check this out. Look at there. Is that a ticket? Look at that. As you can see, St. George's is a beautiful, vibrant city. This awesome waterfront area is known as the Carinage. French for careening or beaching sailing vessels for maintenance, which had been done in the area for many years. Meanwhile, back on the boat, during hurricane season in the tropics, not every day would be fit for outdoor activities. With our rainy day in the marina, I've taken my Grenadian spices, got some nutmeg, cinnamon, and these cocoa balls here, and I'm making the uh, cocoa drink, like she said. Ground a little bit of nutmeg, one of those cinnamon barks. There it is. Smells like Grenada in here. It rained a lot last night. It's been raining most of the morning. And uh, the porta boat is full of water. This is the most water that has ever been in it. <laughs> Which is probably our fault. We probably should have paid a little more attention. Of course, the uh, minute I get done <laughs> bailing out the porta boat, it started pouring again. <laughs> I'll be in there bailing before we know it. Rain showers are pretty though. So we've just got things as cozy as we can down here and just, uh, yeah, just hang out. <laughs> it's all done. Got me a little uh, almond milk in there. Mm, let's see. Mmm, pure Grenada. Delicious. Marina life in St. George's continues. We've been doing a lot of boat projects. We uh, changed out our leaky water tank uh, on the starboard side. I've completely serviced the outboard engine. That went well. Even did an impeller change for the first time. And uh, we've been continuing to rebed the stanchions. The list is long. We haven't gotten to all of it, but uh, today we're going to go back to downtown St. George's and check out the fish market. We want to get some fresh tuna. So. Just got off at the bus stop, and the fish market is right up here on the left. You ready for some fish? Babe? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the bone, the You do it so much smoother and faster than I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Gonna have some poke bowls tonight. <laughs> Lindy's making poke bowls. There's some of the big block of tuna. What have you done, Lindy? I marinated the tuna in some. So it's soy sauce, rice vinegar, some coconut aminos, a little bit of uh, garlic and ginger, and green onions. Mmm, all right. I made sushi rice. I'm warming up some edamame, and I've got some pickles that I made from local cucumbers. Refrigerator pickles. Ashley Bracken's recipe. That sounds delicious. Ooh, look at that tuna. So, our bowls are done. Got sushi rice on the bottom. Homemade pickles with local cucumbers, edamame, some carrot, local mango, fresh tuna, and topped with some sesame seeds. That. Yay is right. And we're going to watch us some Netflix. Mm -hmm. Be a nice evening here at the marina. Yes. All right. It's about time to do the sailboat race that I've been planning for for a week or so now on the sailboat half baked. So I'm about to head to Lafar Blue Marina and Lindy's staying here at Port Louis Marina Friday night and Saturday night. Lindy's going to be without me aggravating her. What do you think, Lindy? I know. It's, uh, it's gonna be uh, different. We're, <laughs> we're rarely apart for more than uh, an hour or so. <laughs> That's right. We both managed to endure our time apart, but made up for it spending a full day driving around the complete circumference of the island in a rental car we shared with our friends Rob and Michelle on Luna. Driving the roads of Grenada is really cool. They wind along the coast with beautiful views of the Caribbean and the Atlantic. And they also head up into the mountains where coastal views and terrain are replaced by the lush greenery of tropical rainforests and the many waterfalls of Grenada's interior. All this while passing by the wonderful people of Grenada living life and the neat architecture of their homes and colorful yards. A lot of uh, farming going on up here. All right, we made it. Look at this. Boy, it's a good waterfall.
Next, we headed up to Leapers Hill, where a local Grenadian guide would tell us some really interesting tidbits of Grenadian history. Mount, Mount St. Catherine is there, the highest peak in Grenada. Yeah. Very nice. So Walter Clement Noel, the first recorded case of sickle cell anemia disorder. And he is buried in this cemetery. Our guide would go on to tell us that many people in this cemetery died from complications of sickle cell. And to this day, there are a large number of carriers in this specific area of Grenada, including our guide herself. But research that began with Walter Clement Noel in the early 1900s has helped greatly with education and treatment of this genetic disease. This is also the site of Leapers Hill, where many Carib Indians in the 1650s jumped to their deaths rather than to be enslaved by French colonizers who were driving them from their lands. Rather a lot of depressing history for one spot. So this caterpillar here takes all the leaves off the fringe of Pawnee tree. Yeah. And then that makes it bloom. Yes. Yeah. Wow. They say, are they killing this tree here? Or? No, they're just doing the same thing. They're just eating okay. leaves. Ah, some neat nature to lighten the mood. Next, we continued along on our aimless driving and stumbled upon a really cool spot. Huh. I think there's people swimming down here. Hmm. Awesome. So after you put the mud on you, mm -hmm. I will leave it like dry or dust it out. You take a rinse out here, down there. Mm -hmm. Then you come, you got the final one here. Oh, okay. And then it's connected to the same I guess underwater underground volcanic activity that Kickham Jenny, the uh, volcano right off the coast is. There you can see it, the water coming up. Sulfur Springs. Since we didn't come with clothes and supplies for wallowing in the mud, we decided to save it for another time. We continued driving around the northern tip of the island to the Atlantic side and saw some of Grenada's beautiful beaches. We're looking out kind of southeast, maybe over towards Trinidad. Speaking of beaches, back at the marina, we were just a short dinghy ride away from Grenada's most famous beach, Grand Ants. We spent many a day with our large group of friends from the marina just hanging out there and enjoying the beautiful blue water. Also with our group of marina friends, we rented a taxi one day to take us to one of Grenada's epic waterfall hikes in the mountain rainforest, Seven Sisters. <laughs> Seems like a good morning for a hike, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven Sisters Waterfall. Watch out for Mary Lou, she looks dangerous. Lindy. Okay. It's a little muddy. I'm probably gonna slip at some point. <laughs> All kinds of crazy noises. Oh, there he goes. Watch out. Oh, ow, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Getting some rain now. 
<laughs> All right. There it is. Let's go get in. <laughs> All right, just in time, the rain's lightening up a little bit. Whoa, I don't want to fall in. Woo, I fell down. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. Nope, I was wrong. That's Hog Island, didn't it, Lindy? Yeah, that. Yeah, this is Hog Island straight here. What's that there? That's Calvany and then the rest of Woburn. Oh. Hog Island is right <laughs> here and the Hog Island Anchorage is right. Okay, I'm sorry. That's Calvany where we just came from. 